We're doing it for the gram, huh? Man, I tell you, we've had a blast. So, I mean, we've gone off-roading, we've gone camping, hung out with some really cool people. The one thing that I can say about all this is I've met up with quite a few different people in this sphere, the overland community, off-road community, adventure travel community, whatever you want to call it. The same thing goes all the way across the board, man. Everybody is cool. Everybody is chill. Everybody just wants to get out here and have a good time. Doesn't matter what you drive. Doesn't matter how much gear you have. Doesn't matter how much money you spend and all that BS that everybody thinks that you have to have. All you have to do is just get up, get out, go do something. I will miss seeing this every time we go to leave, though, huh? How beautiful is that? You gonna miss that view every time we leave? It is pretty. It's very pretty. All right, so the plan is now, Christy and I actually don't have to be back at work until Tuesday. And the issue that we have, well, not an issue, um, slight obstacle that we may have is the fact that there's still that hurricane out there and it's dropped how many? You said 20 inches? 20 inches. Yeah, so that's a lot. 20 inches of rain and now it's over the mountainous region I would guess. I haven't had service in probably 24 hours close to it so what we're gonna do now is go up to the little Dollar General. I've got to get some ice cold water because I'm thirsty and uh, once we get up there I'll have signal and when we get signal I will then find another place for us to wake up to a beautiful sunrise in the morning so that'll be cool. I'll let you know where we go. So I think it's safe to say that the dogs had a good time. One of the hardest things that I've found to remind myself to do is charge all of the electronic stuff every night. Hey, hush. Like at home, you're in such a routine, somebody's pulling up on, on next to us on a motorcycle and it woke them up. So, But anyway, at home, you're on such a routine of charge your stuff up every night. But mm -hmm. when you're out, you forget to do that. The tablet? No. He gone. Dead, dead, dead. And just pulled up next to us on the motorcycle. He said, like, "Watch out, running from the storm." And I said, "Yeah, I don't blame you. I watched two of them, 78, 79, blowed my tra my neighbor's trailer clear across my front yard." I said, "Damn." He said, yeah, I hope your shit's still there when you get back. <laughs> I said, either way, it, you know, it's all good. Yeah. You got stuck by what now? Oh, uh, I think it's called a European Hornet. European Hornet. Christy got stung by it. And <laughs> the bugs in Kentucky, y'all, are fucking big. No joke. And they bite. Little bastards. All of them. They all bite. So here we are again, yet again, pulling up to yet another campsite. At night. At, at night. <laughs> late night. It's only like 10 o'clock, so realistically it's not that late. But this is a really cool campsite. This is on Jones Mountain um, Recreation Area or Wildlife Management Area here in Georgia. As you can hear, the winds are picking up because the hurricane is still kind of in this area. It's just to the north and east of us. If we get anything tonight, it'll be like the extreme outer bands of the southeast side, or the southwest side, so it won't be too bad. We are going to put the rain fly on just in case. But other than that, I think the only way that this thing would be um, better is if they left us some firewood. I'll show you in the morning what it looks like because it is a pretty cool little area. They got some nice stumps set around it. It's not trash like many of the campsites that you come to, so yeah, I'm gonna rank it a good one. Yeah, um, I'll put the uh, I'll put the coordinates and all in uh, in the USA on Dirt Facebook group page. Go take a look. So the reason that we decided to stay here is because it's like a three and a half hour drive from here to the house, and it was like a four and a half hour drive from the LBL to here. So that's why we decided to stay here. Overall, I think it's pretty straight. Big tents worked out great too for us, but I think that what I'm gonna do is kind of like what uh, dude had at uh, at LBL. I think I'm gonna do one of those uh, ARB awnings because the ARB awning would do away with having to carry away this or carrying this because they have the annex thing that you can put on the side. So not only do I have shade, not only do I have shelter, but I also have a screened-in area for at nighttime when the bugs are biting Christy. 
Just me? Just you. <laughs> Don't bite me. Oh, he was kind of fat. I think he got eaten up a little bit today. I've been like literally scratching like a crackhead the whole entire way here. <laughs> scratching now, I got scratches everywhere. Rubbing down calamine lotion like it's a godsend. These are the kind of things though here. What then? This is the kind of stuff here. <laughs> it ends up cut. Why the hell's that thing got so many damn ropes on it anyway? I think it's supposed to tie all this to trees. Shit. Tying up all that shit. Good to go. Call that shit good, dog. Let's roll. I'm, I'm about ready to go home and take a shower. <laughs> Mend these bites I've got all over my body. We have yet again come somewhere and got straight bit up. For real bit up. But it happens. Morning. What's happening, guys? So this is our campsite for today. Not too bad. It's in John's Mountain Wildlife um, Management Area. Puma, what did you think about tonight's camp? Last night's camp, rather. He liked it. He didn't seem to mind it too bad. It's right off this uh, road that comes off of a paved road. No four-wheel drive access is needed. Uh, I haven't really explored the area, but this is just kind of a loop that goes around. Looks like there's three little spots that you could camp along this loop. However, this is probably the best one. It already had seats around a fireplace and all. Now, granted, we don't do fires too much. And we didn't do one last night, but the only fire that we have is going to be that in order to cook the coffee because we're going to need it. So that's it. That's our campsite. Still waiting on Christy to get up. Today's plan is to head back to uh, Columbia and uh, get back to reality, unfortunately. Just that you can see where all these trails go all through these woods alongside the creek bed. And people have made little fire pits through that whole thing. That'd be pretty cool if there was water running through there. But there again, if there's water running through there, it's probably coming through fast. Mm-hmm. Looks especially, like it. Especially, yeah, especially right there where you see it kind of go up and down a good bit. We ride the yaks. <laughs> Big guy was crawling on the tent. A good little tent bag like the one that, uh, that I have linked in the description work out perfect for you. You get four steaks, you get a little steak puller. Um, a little dust pan and broom, and that's probably the best thing. And then also a mallet to drive the stakes in. Cool little tent bag, incredibly cheap. Uh, click on the link. If you do, click on my link down at the bottom. You're helping me out a little bit, so I'd appreciate it. One of the flaws of this particular design is the fact that down there is the base of it, which is really cool, and it's something to leverage off of. The problem is, is it's also the floor of the tent, so it rips whenever you leverage it, so you have to be careful. With two people, this is an, a whole lot easier of a task. Yeah, but can you imagine just one person? Doing this on my and this is why we typically don't bring big tent. So the tent fits. Then you have this. <laughs> With all these damn cords. <laughs> We'll let Christy handle that. Oh. What is this? That's your hair. <laughs> oh, that's new. What can I do? Is that? We call is that, that the flamingo. The mountain dew. <laughs> the mountain dew. Sometimes this happens, like you come all the way this far to get to the main road and it's closed. And the reason is, is, well, I don't know. I have no clue why they close these roads. It just makes absolutely no sense to me.
woods and we're gonna take it hopefully we can get away out of here where right there what the road yeah yeah i see the road right up here oh <laughs> <laughs> so it just opened up into a big field uh okay that's where that would have went if we would have went left how crazy now we're back on the road Everybody just wants to get out here and have a good time. Doesn't matter what you drive, doesn't matter how much gear you have, doesn't matter how much money you spend and all that BS that everybody thinks that you have to have, all you have to do is just get up, get out, go do something. Till next time, peace.